Hi, this is Patrick from Explorer's Kitchen, and today we're talking about bay leaves. In my last video when I was making the court bouillon for the sweetbreads, I was wondering about bay leaves. It's an ingredient that we've all used before, and I'm not sure that we all know what it tastes like. At least for myself, it's something that I've thrown in every soup or stew or spaghetti sauce. Or... Part of exploring food is exploring our ingredients. And because I didn't know what this one tasted like, I wanted to find out. So what I decided to do today was to make a tea of some bay leaves. I added some water to a few bay leaves. And today we're going to be tasting bay leaf tea so that we know what a bay leaf tastes like. I think it's something that you can do as well. So if you want to follow along with me, boil up some water and pour it over a few bay leaves and we'll taste it together. Here we made our tea and before we taste it, let's start by smelling it. And to me, I get kind of a mint and fresh herbal note, um, almost like eucalyptus really comes off as minty to me and fresh and in tasting it, it it also comes off quite mild but minty and and like i said that fresh eucalyptus flavor i think it's something that once you taste you it seems like yeah i recognize this in, in other things i've had before but i could never put my finger on it before so i think you should try uh, making your own bay leaf tea so you know what this tastes like as well. In preparation for this video I did a little bit of research found out that bay leaves are bay laurels and they're the same plant that uh, you would see the Roman emperors wearing on their head or uh, uh, it's also a, a peaceful leaf uh, so oh hi honey. Hi honey. Oh. It's a symbol of peace uh, and it's also maybe that's why the uh, Roman emperors or athletes would wear it uh, at the Olympics. So bay leaves are bay laurels come from Turkey. Uh, they're also grown in California, but I th think that the ones in California are a lot stronger, and so if you want something more mild, uh, something that really kind of blends in just a subtle hint in your dish, try the Turkish bay leaves. Then also, uh, when I was reading, it sounds like you can use it uh, in a couple of creative ways that I hadn't thought of before. First, if you're grilling something, throw a couple of bay leaves on the coals itself, and that smoke will add a nice subtle flavor to your food. I also read that you can ignite a couple of bay leaves and toss them in a pan that you're grilling uh, some fish in and then cover it as you're cooking and as you're searing that fish that smoking bay leaf will add a subtle flavor uh, almost like a grilled flavor to your food so uh, that's another good use for bay leaves. I also learned that you can eat bay leaves as well so when you hit a bay leaf in your super stew uh, instead of just throwing it away immediately maybe take a bite and have a taste. Um, in fact, why don't I have a little taste of one of my bay leaves. So I'll fish it out of my tea here. Here's one and let's see what it tastes like. Now it's quite a bit more intense. Wow. It's quite a bit more intense than uh, the, the tea. But it really does give a stronger impression of what the bay leaf really tastes like to me. I don't know that I would go ahead and eat it directly in uh, its whole form. Uh, if you do maybe grind it up and, and add it, uh, I could see it going really well as a pork, fish, maybe poultry seasoning in small restrained quantities because it is quite pungent. Uh, it's actually one of the stronger spices, uh, at least directly. But it comes off quite a bit more mildly as a tea or in a stock. And usually you're just adding one or two leaves per say gallon um, in in a super stew so it, it does not come off nearly as strong as one leaf in your mouth directly but if you want to know what it tastes like that's how you do it make your tea or take a bite and you'll know what a bay leaf tastes like going forward thank you for joining me today i had fun making this very short quick video for uh, explorer's kitchen today let me know if you went through this tasting exercise with me. It's a great opportunity to learn about what your spices do for you. Uh, instead of just putting them into a recipe, you'll know this tastes like that. So, again, eucalyptus, mint, but try for yourself. Time investment is virtually none. Have a taste and let me know. Cheers, we'll catch you in the next video. 
Please hit subscribe so you can follow Explorer's Kitchen in the future and have a great day. Oh, yeah.